Earlier this month, the Conservative philosopher Roger Scruton did an interview with the left-wing journalist George Eaton for the New Statesman, in which uh, George Eaton decided to misquote and lie about the interview, which resulted in uh, Roger Scruton losing his job as a government advisor. But fortunately, we now have the leaked tape of the original interview, so we're going to have a look at it in detail. Uh, Roger Scruton's main crime was based on two points specifically, uh, his comments on China and Islam. Let's start with his comments on China. Uh, according to George Eaton, his article and his tweet, uh, actually, let's have a look at the tweet first and see what George Eaton said. According to George Eaton's tweet, uh, Roger Scruton said, each Chinese person is a kind of replica of the next one, and that is a very frightening thing. Well, that is clearly a racist comment, right? But let's have a look at the actual article and uh, the quote that was made. So straight away, we can see that uh, the word each, uh, which was uh, with capital E in the tweet, uh, which make, would make you think that was the, uh, the beginning of the sentence, is completely incorrect. Uh, Roger said that they're creating robots out of their own people, and then following that, each Chinese person is a kind of replica. But we now have the actual tape, so let's have a listen to what was actually said in the interview. There are difficulties around the corner that we um, are ignoring, like the rise of China. And there's something quite frightening about the Chinese sort of mass politics mm. uh, uh, and the regimentation of the, of the ordinary being. I think that... that um, uh, and we invent robots, uh, and they are, the, uh, in a sense, they are creating robots out of their own people um, by so constraining what, what can be done that, um, that each China, China Chinese person is a, a kind of replica of the, the next one. Mm. And that's a very frightening thing. Yes. Um, Maybe you, maybe I don't know enough about it to be confident in making that judgment. But the politics is like that, and the foreign policy is like that. And obviously, we hear the the voice of George Eaton as well in that clip. Now, um, how do you believe that was misrepresented in the interview as it was presented in the New Statesman? Well, it was presented as a kind of racist slur on the Chinese people as such. When I was trying to talk about what the communist authorities are trying to do with them, I went on to talk about the concentration camps in, in which uh, they are trying to eliminate from the uh, Chinese Muslims the God idea and replace it with the party idea. Well, all this is what we all, all of us know about China, but uh, for some reason reluctant to say. So that was completely different to what uh, George Eaton's article and even his tweet said. Uh, following this whole chaos, uh, Roger Scruton decided to write an article in his own defence uh, for The Spectator, and uh, he made a comment about uh, what he said about uh, the Chinese government. In The Spectator article, Roger Scruton said, that the Communist Party expects each person to replicate the behavioural code, not questioning its authority and binding safety in imitation. Many people see the threat of this in the attitude of Beijing towards Hong Kong. So clearly we can see that he didn't say anything against Chinese people, uh, nothing racist. He was primarily talking about the Communist Party in China and the government's method when it comes to controlling its citizens. Right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, apparently he made some comments about Islam and Muslims, right? So uh, according to George Eaton, Roger Scruton said uh, Islamophobia is a propaganda word invented by the Muslim Brotherhood in order to stop discussion of a major issue. The article has two separate quotes which are kind of linked to each other. Apparently Roger Scruton said that the uh, people in Hungary were extremely alarmed by the sudden invasion of huge tribes of Muslims from the Middle East. And then that was followed by saying that Islamophobia is a propaganda word invented by the Muslim Brotherhood in order to stop discussion of a major issue. Now, on the first point of that quote, and the people in Hungary, uh, you can clearly see that uh, he was uh, primarily talking about how people in Hungary are feeling about the situation. He wasn't actually even talking about his own personal view. He didn't even say if the Hungarian people are right or wrong to even feel that way about uh, the recent changes in their own country. So um, he didn't make any personal comments about that. On to the second part of that quote and the word Islamophobia. I'm afraid we have been warned about this a few years ago. Back in 2009, Christopher Hitchens made a comment about the word Islamophobia. Let's have a look at it. This is very urgent business, ladies and gentlemen, I beseech you. Resist it while you still can. 
And before the right to complain is taken away from you, which will be the next thing, you will be told you can't complain because you're Islamophobic. The term is already being introduced into the culture as if it was an accusation of race hatred, for example, or, or, or bigotry, whereas it's only the objection to the preachings of a very extreme and absolutist religion. Watch out for these symptoms. They are just symptoms of surrender, very often ecumenically offered to you by men of God in other robes, Christian and Jewish and smarmy ecumenical. These are the, these are the ones who will hold open the gates mm -hmm. for the barbarians. The barbarians never take a city till someone <coughs> holds the gates, the gates open for them. And it's your own preachers who will do it for you and your own multicultural authorities who will do it for you. Resist, resist it while you can. And Christopher Hitchens was spot on. As someone who was born in Iran myself uh, under an Islamic regime, uh, I know exactly the distinction between Islam as a political and religious ideology and an ordinary Muslim. In fact, Roger Scruton then uh, wrote in the same article after the interview uh, to defend himself about the comments he made about Islam. He said that I myself distinguish Islam as a faith and a way of life from the radicals who commit crimes in its name. I have a respect and tenderness towards the first of those and a hatred of the second. But it is increasingly difficult with the current abuse of language to make this point or to encourage Muslims to make it too. Now, following that interview and Roger losing his job as a government advisor, uh, George Eaton uh, went on Instagram and posted this picture. The feeling when you get right-wing racist and homophobe Roger Scruton sacked as a Tory government advisor. Not only Roger Scruton was assassinated by the left-wing media, he was also betrayed by Theresa May and her government. The moment the article came out without knowing the full facts, the Conservative government and Theresa May decided to not only stop supporting uh, Roger Scruton, but decided to actually attack him uh, for the comments without actually knowing what was said in the original interview. Douglas Murray wrote in The Spectator, the hit job on Sir Roger can be seen as a classic of the genre. He was sacked within five hours of the Twitter storm breaking. His fate offers a perfect case study in the art of modern character assassination, except that in this instance, it unraveled and the whole nature of the trick can now be exposed. Roger Scruton said himself after the tape was leaked that I am a conservative thinker, well known as such, outspoken but reasonable in my view. There has been throughout this country and throughout Europe really an attempt to silence the conservative voice. We get identified, caricatured, demonized and made to look as though we are some kind of sinister fascist racist kind of people. And as soon as the conservative party sees one of us being demonized in this way, they rush to disassociate themselves from us. And that's the sad truth. Uh, the people who should be ashamed of themselves is Theresa May's government and her team and the, all the people who, without again knowing the full facts, decided to attack one of the great thinkers we have in our country. Thank you again for watching. If you're enjoying this, obviously like, comment, share and subscribe to the channel. Uh, and also, if you have any video ideas, uh, let me know in the comment section and I'll see you tomorrow with a new video.